Just got this in. This is the LCD 5812 7 inch diversity receiver LCD monitor from Boss Cam. It's got a little sunroof. Very well made monitor. I want to test the range that I can get on this monitor with these antennas today and compare it to my black pearl monitor I've got my vortex 250 pro mounted there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk from here all the way out to there so we can take a look at what kind of distance we're getting with this monitor uh, this monitor has a search function so you can search through the bands I'm just gonna go over that real quick uh, my vortex is configured for boss cam band B so let's just hit the OK button and it will just search. I already had it on the best signal. Oh, okay, so D D1, some of the some of the bands will match up either way. E E3 also seems to match. But I will put it on the band it should be, which is B1. Here we go. And search does be one so this is a really great feature this is a 40 channel diversity receiver so great it's ready if you want to do racing or whatever all right so let's just do this distance test now i will get the recording up on the fat shark so you can see because the monitor is a little difficult to watch in the sun all right so i'm going to go ahead and start the recording now right about now okay so we're rolling remember the quad is right up there on the edge looks like the this antenna is doing most of the work Got a good clear signal. Let's turn this way. I'm going to move the helical more towards this way because when you're flying. Generally, you're going to have the helical pointed line of sight anyway, just so we can see what this is like. Let me just tighten this a little bit. All right. All right. So now we're out in the middle here I'm gonna walk all the way down to there recording is still on This is very impressive so far. I'm not really getting any breakup at all. Look at this. I'm just walking out here. I can actually see the screen as well with the sunshade. It's it's not 
hard to see. Even sometimes with the with the other monitors, some other monitors I've used, it can be very hard to see the screen. Even if you got a sunshade, because light's still coming in from all over, whether you like it or not. I think it has something like a 400 lux, 450 lux brightness. Now again, this is just, in, this is incredible. Alright, so we're starting to get just a little bit of break up right here, but not really. Could just be that we're pat you know, it could be passing through an object of sorts. Because this, because you know, it, it it has to go through all of that. Where where the signal is traveling? Who the hell knows? Oh, now that I've moved. All right, here we go. Honestly, that is very stable video for what it has to do. Like I said, this right here is about fifteen hundred feet from all the way over there. I'm walking around this way. Got a little bit of break up here and there. I'm very happy with this monitor, especially because of the fact that it doesn't seem to roll when there's bad signal. Watch this, I'm gonna kill the signal purposefully now, and it's not rolling. And by rolling, what I mean is the picture will just, the same picture will appear over and over and over again. And that's terrible if you wanna use it for racing. That will disorientate, that'll make you disorientated amongst other things. That's just the best way to cause a crash, is if you have a monitor that rolls. And another problem is a monitor that gives you a blue screen. You don't want blue screen, you want snow. Luckily this monitor does perfect. It gives you snow and no rolling. So I'm very, very impressed. I'm very pleased with this monitor. Great picture, great view. All right, so now I want to see if our situation improves just a little bit if I swap the antenna. So just a moment while I swap it out. All right, so what I have right here now is actually called a pepper box antenna, 5.8 gigahertz pepper box. I just got this in and it too is a directional antenna, which have a very wide beam. So you have like a, a beam of like 180 degrees. So I want to see how well it performed. Let's walk over here. Now because you have an increased beam, we might be able to go around some of these trees here and not have breakup.
All right, so now I want to take the time to take out my Black Pearl diversity receiver here and get the helical on there. This is my old monitor and also a very, very popular model. Only has 32 channels. I want to see right from here what kind of distance I'm getting. Ah! Ah, you see that? See how the black pearl is just rolling? Even if I turn this way, the boss cam is surviving far better than the black pearl. Look at it. The black pearl is just struggling like crazy to even keep a signal. And before anyone points it out, yes, they're on the same channel. Yep, all I can say is the Black Pearl, it definitely does not have the capability that this monitor has. It doesn't. Even if we're just looking at it just from like right here, it's not picking up the signal but yet the boss cam one seems to be doing fine and that rolling effect is terrible all right guys so what's the conclusion the conclusion is that the boss cam lcd 5812 monitor is great and it's just a little over a hundred dollars compared to a monitor like this which is almost two hundred dollars this is a no-brainer You've got 40 channels, you've got an auto scanner to scan for the best uh, frequency to be on. What's more, what's, what's, what's not to love? Decent quality sun, sun shield. Alright, so that's it. That concludes the review of the LCD5812. And um, you're definitely going to see me fly more with this in the future. Uh, it's probably time to retire the Black Pearl. Alright guys, that's it. Have a nice day. Whoa.